Hello everyone, it's Melissa and I'm here today with a video share for the Crafty Channel Surf Facebook page and the Something Inspirational Design Team. My December challenge was to create something small. So I went ahead and did that. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I what I'm planning on. Um, but essentially these are teacher's gifts. Every year I try to craft a gift and then incorporate it with some candy and a um, gift card. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got so far. So I we went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up some of these nice sturdy boxes. Now um, this one, I don't know, it's not quite maybe eight by 10, but anyways, they have a bunch of different sizes at Hobby Lobby and you could use whatever. I mean, um, one year I used even like one of those tins from the Dollar Tree. So, um, so inside, and I made two of these. Um, I started by, these are actually gift tags for presents. And one of the things I started by doing was just laying out my dividers. So, um, but before I make the dividers, I need to choose the size of the um, kind of ballpark it, the size of the tag, or you know, if I'm gonna do a circle tag or a smaller tag. So it was really easy for me in this instance, I just pulled out my dies and I put a die in each one of these so I could kind of ballpark um, the size I was gonna need and if I needed to adjust it in any way. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close up. I'll do my best to describe it. And then I'll show you further what I've done with the gift. So this here, will be part of the gift for um, one of my son's teachers. And um, this is all made with scraps, um, super easy. I kept it very simple for myself. And pull out your scraps and just start die cutting away. It was what I did and I loved it. And so um, that being said, here's my first one and there are five of each of these, so 25 in total. Um, this first one, this is a Stampin' Up! die and it's still available until the end of the year and they may carry it over, I'm not exactly sure. But this um, kind of inverted scalloped rectangle, this is from, I wanna say Pretty Pink Posh. If you, if I'm messed up or you have any questions directly about any of the product I use, just um, leave me a message in the description box below and I will get on it and look it up. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and colored these in different colored cardstock. I distressed everything with my oxide inks. Um, I embossed with gold season's greetings. And then after my scene was set, I went ahead and took some um, Copic, like a little bit with Copic and some water and a paintbrush. And I just, some of that um, Copic refill, I just flicked it on here. You could use mists, you could use acrylic paint with water, whatever you've got on hand. Literally, this is all scraps. You're just trying to make a nice handmade gift for people. It's not supposed to be stressed out. So um, I went ahead and tied some twine. This is a great time to use up your brads or your eyelets if you've got any in your stash. I always try to remember to the, do the to and from before it's assembled to make sure you don't have anything bumpy or bulky on the back. Okay, so five of these. The next one is just your regular tag shape. I believe this one is from Lawn Fawn. These sprigs of greenery are from Tim Holtz. He has a die out right now currently. This is a button from my stash, just some crochet twine. This is um, from Kaiser Craft. It says, tis the season to be jolly, fa blah, 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 blah. Okay, and I embossed it in white. This is just some Buffalo Check washi tape, probably from Target or some hotspot dollar spot and just some red um, yarn tied to the top okay this next one is one of my favorite dies which is the um, stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn this is one of the Lawn Fawn new um, their little mini wreath and I went ahead and added a couple berries no bow which is included in that die and I just added some red stickles gold embossed and these are just from my stash um, of Alpha Dyes. Um, there, it's an old one, but I still use it a lot and it's very loved. So just tied it, I added a gold reinforcer, just tied it with some gold crochet twine. Uh, this next one is a little mitten, it's super cute. I backed it with a bunch of different, um, this die is from Stampin' Up! Still available, of course. I um, added a button and some 
just um, regular twine, some brown twine, natural. And I backed this die with a bunch of different scraps of cardstock. And then I cut two, because there's, a, there's a, a mitten that has the cutouts and just a plain mitten. And then I scored it to make like a little tag. And then this last one is a circle tag from Lawn Fawn. The penguin and the iceberg, well, the piece of ice, whatever. Um, those are actually from the Hampton Art Mama Elephant collaboration that I got from either Michael's or Joanne Fabrics. Super cute. And um, this actually, this white was a, um, a snow stamp that I have and I embossed it um, with white embossing powder. And then happy holidays. And just super cute. I colored this in with my Zig clean color brush markers and then I went over the ornament with um, a glitter, my glitter, Zig glitter pen. So that was that. And um, this is going to be a super great gift for my son's teachers. Um, I have several teacher friends and I know this is a loved, loved gift. Um, gift cards and um, types of consumables that can be used and you know I mean how many apple mugs can you really get um, you know I, I get it so the next thing I want to show you is so I will be wrapping this box um, and I made a gift tag for the top and um, my son will sign this and this is a teacher die from Simon Says Stamp uh, this is from Simon Says Stamp. This is some more greenery from Tim Holtz. And this is from Sunny Studio. It's like their realistic bell. They've got ornaments and things. And this is just a, a layering stamp. I love it. And it's just two, um, two grays and a black. And I just use my Misty and just keep stamping and layering ink. But, I mean, look how real that looks, you guys. For, for real. It's no joke. I love it. Okay. So then that will be the one gift. And then the second gift, I always try to give a gift card. Um, whatever denomination you your household can afford but I went to Costco and these are my favorite chocolates they're usually only around during the holidays they're the Lindor truffles and I put them in a box from the Dollar Tree and essentially on top of this I'm going to put gift card now I'm gonna show you quick how to make this gift card look a little fancier than just putting this on top of there so I went into my stash again scraps of paper and I pulled out a piece of six by six paper and um, cut it down to five and a half by five and a half. Now it's you know fairly thin paper. Um, it's just I don't know where I got it. Maybe from Target. From um, I try to utilize their little hotspot, their bullseye place for um, gifts, you know, just to have, make quick things and not have to feel like I'm giving away some super expensive product. Um, Cause I, I, you know, I'm realistic. I know a lot of people are just gonna throw things in the garbage, but that's okay. So five and a half by five and a half is what this piece of paper is cut down. So I visited my six by six Christmas pads. This is a standard gift card minus the envelope. I'm going to use my envelope punch board by We Are um, Memory Keepers. And the first cut I'm going to do is at two and three eighths. So I'm going to move this over to two and three eighths. And I'm going to make a punch. And then my little score tools here. Sorry. I'm going to make a punch and then score. Now, I'm not an expert at this, so don't <laughs> be too critical. Anyway, so then I'm going to line up the next score line here and not worry about these. Give this another punch and in fact another score I'm just trying to follow the guide of this side too as well and I'm going to do the same I'm going to go around the whole box making my scores you guys this is all over YouTube people have showed this I mean a zillion times so my last one here and then make my mark and then I like to in the back of this board here feed this through and just have some nice rounded edges to clean things up make things look pretty okay so that's done so then I'm gonna go ahead and fold on the score lines here and I don't have a fancy Teflon bold folder or anything I should get one it's it sounds like it's a must-have because from what I <laughs> see on YouTube and 
those types of things, but um, it'll have to wait. I have other crafty things on my wish list. Okay, so that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some adhesive. Um, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I wanna add some score tape, because this is a nice um, strong hold. And I'm just gonna add the score tape um, just like right here. And this is nice because it tears nice and easy. Okay. Now, I always push it down with my nail. So then, um, essentially, I'm going to take off the tape on both sides, fold this in, and I'm going to tuck my card in here. Now, the next step, so that it's not so plain and it stays sealed, I went and cut. I'm, you know, just again, visiting my scrap drawer, a piece of scrap paper, it's red and it's one inch wide. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it, not too tight, but I am gonna wrap it around here. And actually, I just, I wanna wrap it this way. No, how do I wanna, yeah, I wanna wrap it this way. And I'm kinda just going to, I mean, you could wrap it however you want. Essentially, it's just gonna be a belly band, but I don't want it to be too tight. So I'm going to meet it at the end and kind of give it a little leeway. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some score tape again. And then I have one final thing before I put it in my box of chocolates. So, um, so most of you have probably, the majority of you are probably done with your craft or your crafting or your wrapping at this point. Um, but this could be a nice, last minute gift okay so it's still gonna come off it's you know not too tight but it's on there you know kind of nice because I don't want it to fall off okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I went through my pattern papers this happened to be a pad that I got on clearance from Michaels last year um, it's a recollections Christmas Noel and it's mostly um, tag focused and those types of things and in the back, I found some numbers, but this Tis the Season caught my eye. And so I pulled out my um, decorative label punch from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to go ahead and punch this Tis the Season out. And so I flip my punch over and I line it up as however I feel fit to cut it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, let's remember it's a handmade gift. Okay, so... Now I'm gonna add some score tape to this and I'm gonna put it right there. And that's gonna be a beautiful finishing touch to this little handmade um, gift card envelope. Okay, so, and I'm gonna, this will end up going on top of the chocolates and it will um, be a nice surprise when she opens that box. I think anyway, I know I'd like to get it. Okay. So then I'll go ahead and place this in here on top and I'll seal this up and wrap it along with the other one. And so that's it. So if you have any questions about any particular product that I used, um, I'm not going to lie, a lot of it is discontinued because I, I'm a stash user so I use up my stash um, as much as possible. But a lot of it is new, so I will um, do my best to answer any of the questions that you have. So thank you so much for watching. I will put links to the Crafty Channel Surf Facebook page in the description box below. You can head over there and see all the beautiful inspiration that is posted by the design team women. Also, I'll put the link to my Facebook page, Cut It Up Creations, and my Instagram page, Cut It Up Creations. Those will both be linked below in the description box. I'd love for you to head over to all three of those spots and follow us and like us and um, give us your feedback and I hope I inspired you to make something Christmas crafty for the holidays. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.